Welcome to Star Lords. By Simtex Software. And your company. Those ships look strangely familiar, don't they? Starfleet alert. Starfleet directive to Falcon Squadron. Enemy vessels approaching. Intercept and destroy. Authenticator codes. Okay. So this game looks very familiar, right? It's called Star Lords. It was released in 1993 by a company called Simtex. And it has this eerie resemblance to Master of Orion. And I mean, that company Simtex, that sounds kind of familiar, right? I mean, it's a company out of Texas that makes simulation games, hence Simulation, Texas, Simtex, right? Sounds familiar. Um, looks familiar. Lo looks like. Oh, that's right. This is a tech demo for the original Master of Orion. Okay, so Simtex, what they did was they created this game. They were wanting to create a more fleshed out game. They were looking for a production company to assist them with that. So they created this tech demo and sent it out to a bunch of production companies, which, which one of which was Micropro Software, which just like, hey, this thing looks awesome. And they went on to uh, hook up with Simtex and create a game which would become Master of Orion. So what this is is a tech demo slash prequel for the original Master of Orion. Uh, fast forward to the era of Master of Orion 3, Simtex released this tech demo for free as kind of a way to get people's appetite going for the next Master of Orion game. So first off, I want to make one quick comment. I'm sure you guys just watched that intro. Um, I may be crazy, and I know this game is supposed to be unpolished, but I think that was a way better intro than we had for the original Master of Orion. Just my thoughts. So as for authenticator codes, we just press enter because the authenticator doesn't actually work because this is just a tech demo. Okay, so we're going to go to options. Um, I wanted to show you guys this. The game, when you first install it, starts automatically in hard difficulty. I've changed it to medium. And this is possibly the worst settings screen in the history of gaming. The settings menu is bouncing around the screen. And this looks like some really, really terrible Windows 3.1 screens that we're going on in the background here. This is awful. Okay, I am so, so glad that MicroPros convinced them to drop this settings screen because this is horrible. Okay, so continuing on, um, this playthrough will be mostly blind. Uh, I did play it for just a little bit, figure out how the controls worked, and do get it working with my recording software. But other than that, I have no idea what's going on. It seems pretty much like Master of Orion, but there are probably loads of differences. So, and that was a nice little bug there with the background glitching. But again, tech demo, not a full game. So, shall we say new game? And here we are. And, okay, it gives you a random selection of races at the beginning of each game. Uh, when I was checking my recording software, I actually had the silicoids as an option, which was really cool, because we all know I love silicoids. But with this one, we have Saurians, which, lizard folk, from Master of Orion. Avians, also, um... There's a variant of them, Master of Orion. Felines, which of course become the Mercians in Master of Orion. And then we have Ursoids, which are, I believe, the Bullrathi from Master of Orion. Uh, out of all these, the Felines look more conservative, less like the uh, sex kittens they do in Master of Orion, and the Avians look like actual birds instead of bird people. But, uh, hold on a second, because I would really like to play Silicoids. <laughs> so, new game. 
There we go. It, this time it gave us Silicoids an option. And also Clackons. Clackons look like nightmare people in this game. So we are, of course, going to play as Silicoids, which are apparently xenophobic diplomats immune to hostile planet environments. Ursoids in this game are honorable technologists. Technologists, that's interesting. Uh, terrific ground fighters. Avians are pacifistic ecologists. Whoa. That is really not the Alkari we know from Master of Orion. Because they are militarists in Master of Orion. And the Ursoids uh, have no interest, or the Bulrathi, I should say, Master of Orion, have no interest in technology. So, interesting little differences there. And then the Clackens are ruthless ecologists. Okay. And they have increased worker production, that's the same. Avians, superior pilots, that's the same. Bulrathi, as I said, terrific ground forces, and Silicoids, as always, immune to hostile planet environments. Silicoids look very different in this version of the game. Uh, they're much more humanoid and scary looking. Okay, title of our Silicoid Emperor. Fritz Scouch, duh. I, I, I pressed enter. There we go. Please wait. Chrysalon. Uh, another interesting point, you see these stars? They're animated in the prequel slash tech demo. I found that interesting because they dropped the animation in the actual Master of Orion game. I'm not sure why they did that. It seems an odd choice to me. I think the animation looks good. So, um, here we are. We can build industry. One thing I do know about this tech demo is it will let you keep building industry forever, even past the point where your population cannot staff all the factories so there is no quote unquote max for industry so we're just going to keep if we're messing with industry we're just going to keep building up until we notice our production isn't going up anymore then we know to stop uh, I also believe we only start with one ship type which is the scout there are no colony ships in this game instead you use the transports to colonize you also don't have any starting ships. So we are going to switch to ship production. And we're going to build a scout ship. We're going to go to overview. And it goes ahead and shows us who we're playing against. The avians, the ursoids, and the clackens. Okay. And the screen also has our tech on it. Propulsion, even more important in this version of the game than Master of Orion 1. Super important. So we're going to go ahead and max that out. Here's where we view all the ships we have. Whoops. Here's where we design our ships. Which I believe our scout ships don't actually have another terrible settings menu. Um, I believe our scout ships in this version, misclick there, do not actually have extended range they're just like a basic tiny ship so what we're going to do is we're going to go to design and we're going to create a different scout ship kind of odd that scout ships don't have extended range so we're going to go with the absolute bare minimums here and we're going to go for special devices which it will not let you put a special device on a small ship we have to go up to a medium ship okay and I believe we click this button here down by special devices and these buttons let us cycle through except apparently medium ships don't all have access to extended fuel tanks so there we go oh I have an alarm going off here we close that and you uh, instead of having a drop down menu you select your tech by with this plus and minus and then if you don't want it you just keep minusing until it clears out so I guess you have to have a large ship to get refueling tanks and they extend a ship's range by oh okay those actually work differently they extend others other ships ranges so they not extend their own range how does that work uh extends other ships ranges
I'm not quite clear how that works. So we're going to do an experiment. We're going to call this a tanker. And change its icon to something cool. A lot of Star Trek inspired ships in here. I mean, that is not a Klingon warbird there. Definitely not. Uh, appropriate icon. We'll go with that ugly thing. Apparently, the refueling tanks takes up 850 spaces. Wow. So, okay, we'll build that. And now we click here to cycle. So let's go ahead and build one scout. There's our scout. Let's see what his range is. So he cannot get really anywhere. Okay. Now let's build a tanker. That'll take 20 years. And now let's see if the tanker's range is extended on its own or if it has to be paired with another ship. So next year. How many factories can we build at a time? One point two, okay. Okay, so I can click it and then use the keys to increase it or decrease it. That works better. Okay, so next year. Next year, 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 next year. Gosh, this game's even more slow moving than the original Master of Orion. Okay, so if they're together. they still can't get anywhere. What if I drop the scout ship out of that lineup? And... Okay. So, never mind. Let's put everything into tech and get propulsion technology because apparently we can't reach anywhere. as we can build in our scout even without putting anything to production so yeah I guess we'll do that free scout ship next turn next turn next turn I wonder hold on a second let's look at something overview propulsion star drive ship maneuverability one maintenance 18 percent tech Factory costs 7 slash 10, robotic controls, 2 per population, factory waste 100%, terraforming, waste restoration, planetary shields, missile base cost, base missiles, max ship range, 3 parsecs. Okay, here's how the refueling tanks work. Once stationed in a star system within range of a colony, ships equipped with these tanks allow other ships and transports to treat that system as if it, as if a colony were there for purposes of ship range only. Oh, that is really cool, actually. So basically, you can form a bridge. I wish they'd left that in the in Master of Orion. That's a cool technology.
Okay, I think I get how this works now. We have the lowest production in the universe, the lowest planets, lowest population, smallest fleet of strength. Oh, well, well, yeah. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> we may actually need more scouts, but let's first get some technology to increase our range of our ships. Okay, we've almost got it. There we go. And there's our silicoid. Increased ship range 9. Extends fuel reserves, allows ships to move up to 4 parsecs away from a colony planet. Okay, can we actually reach anything now? Because that would be amazing. Okay, we can reach two of these planets. Okay. We'll send one scout up here. Then we'll move these guys over here. And then I think we're going to want more scout ships. So let's go ahead and do that next turn. We produce two more scout ships. Okay. We are going to send them over here, which when our fuel ship gets there, that should let us explore these stars. Okay. And then I want another tanker. Next year. Next year. Scout ship explores the star system. This font is horrible. Hostile environment. Population growth is halved. It has halved. It has a maximum population of 20. Okay. So now we click transport. And we will send 10 million populace there. And like I said, the transports are now your colony ships. So we will leave the tanker there for right now. And we move our scouts to any of these worlds go to Colossa next turn scout ship explores a new planet hostile environment population growth is half it has maximum population of 15 okay let's send seven there six or Next year. Or hold on, my other scouts arrived. Okay. Palladia. Okay, so some other race has that planet. What race is that? Apparently, we don't know. Oh, that's the Avians. Okay. And they already have a scout ship there. Hopefully, that doesn't start a conflict. We'll send a scout down here. I really like the, con the concept of these tanker ships. That's really cool. Oh, did I accidentally send my tanker ship? Oh, and I can't recall it. Cancel. Go back. Can I, can I tell you guys to cancel somehow? Oh, that's terrible, because I think when that tanker ship leaves that planet, these guys will be out of range, and we'll lose them all. And there's apparently no way to cancel once you've sent them out. Okay, that's great. Next turn. Hmm. Well, we haven't lost any ships yet. That's good. Next turn. 
Avians attack silicoids. Retreat. Ten colonists land and form a new colony. Okay. Population growth is halved. That's fine. And here we are. Avian ambassador. The Avian Empire realized the difficulties of first contact with another race. Hopefully we will overcome our mutual distrust. You see, that is not the Alkari we know and despise. <laughs> That's cool, though. Okay. So... Can we do diplomatic relations with them now? Yes, I think we can. We can send them tribute. We can trade. We'll max that out. We won't send them tribute. We won't do espionage. We won't do sabotage. Okay. How far can the scout reach now? I can reach there. Okay, we'll move there. And I think we're actually going to need some more scouts. After that tanker's completed, though. Okay. Set these guys to just do industry. Why does Stala say it has a population max of 200? I thought they said they only had a population max of 20. Did I misread that, or was that a bug? I'm not sure. Let's have them do industry. Right now, because we have to calculate this ourselves, the game doesn't tell us. Right now, we can have two factories per population, so if the max population is 200, we can have up to 400 factories. Okay, next turn. Scout ship explores a new planet. It's a desert with 40 max population. Okay. We will send a colony ship of 20 million. Why do they say that they have no ship output? I don't know. <laughs> oh well. Now if we leave that fueling ship there, we can explore any of these. Let's go there. Next year, new colony, FICO. This colony, oh, this scout ship should now be able to reach over here. Next turn. Let them just do industry. See, look again, it says population 200 max. Even though I, that one I know just a little bit ago said 15. So yeah, that's a bug. Or maybe that's the Silicoid's special power in this version of the game is all planets let you have a max population of 200 because you're Silicoid's and awesome. Is there any way to view all of our plants? I don't think so. And it gives us this table of relations that shows how everyone feels about each other. So the avians are neutral with the ursoids, uneasy with the clackens. The ursoids are neutral with clackens. The clackens are okay. Okay. Is Chrysalon okay? There we go. They are building a ship now. Maybe they don't get ship production every time you send out colonists. I don't know. Next year. Next year. Scout ship explores a new world. Ocean. Population max 70. Trade. Now we're getting plus one credit per turn from the Alkari. 
Alrighty. We will send some colonists down here. All we can really spare is tens. So let's do that. Oh, actually, we can spare more than 10. Hold on. Let's send 19. There we go. Okay, that scout ship's going to have to sit there. And next turn. Scout ship explores the star system. Hostile environment. Population max 25. Similar deal there. Okay, so we get trade credits. And they have 19, 21, 12. There's an Ursoid vessel. there. Send some population here, because we're silicoids, freaking space rats, man. Can the scout ship going further? No, we can't. I'll leave that scout there for now. this guy. I can't see. The scout? That's a scout. We will send it here. Okay. Next year. 19 colonists land and form a new colony. We have a tanker ship. We will send the tanker ship up there. And then when we can, we will send him over here. Actually, let's hold off and wait for that colony to be formed. And in the meantime, let's get some scouts. Okay. Don't think there's anything else for us to do this turn. Next year. Next year. New colony. Although their empires have had disagreements in the past, mutual trade is certainly some of the relieved some of the relieved the tension. And certainly some of the relieved the tension. Okay then. Long live Emperor Fritz Couch and the Silicoid Empire. So the always Ursoids are also friendly. Okay. So we have contact with them. We have this new planet, Kolthos. Have them do industry. Our scout can now go all over the place. So let's start there. Let's go to Overview, and we will also trade with these guys. Oh, okay, I will send them there then. Seems appropriate. Okay. And then we just have that ship just kind of sitting there chilling. Send him out here to expand our reach. Next year, 10 colonists land and form a new colony. Okay. Here's our trade. Here's our scout ship. We will send him here. A planet named Vulcan? Yeah, because that's not copyright infringement. Are the Clackens going to attack us? I do hope not. Oh, excuse me, the Ursoids. No, I don't think they'd attack us. They're our pals. 
And have we lost contact with the Alkari? Ravians, excuse me. I don't see their planets on the map anymore. Odd. Okay. Let's do next turn. Ursoids bomb silicoids. Zero million colonists killed. Well, that wasn't a very friendly thing to do. Scout ships explore a new star system. Cool. Form a new colony. That is SETI. Okay. Surrender now, Emperor Fritz Couch, and save your people from the inevitable fall to the might of the Clacken Empire. Oh my. Somehow I don't think we're going to trade with them. They're uneasy. Uh, let's see if we can trade with them. It should help them chill out. Maybe they won't attack us then. Doubtful, but we can hope. We might also send them a little bit of tribute. Just for a few turns. And we have a new scout ship. We will send him there for right now. Insidious, that's a name for a planet. Hopefully they don't bomb us anymore. 30 max. 17. 26. them. Move there. Oh, hold on. What ship was that? Yeah, no, it's a scout ship. That's fine. Okay. Next year. Ursoids bomb silicoids. Zero million colonists killed. Scout ships explore star system. Minerally poor. Okay. And the Clackens are not really getting more friendly with us. How are we in the standings? See, it's not showing our planets in comparison to everyone else. I think that's a bug. Our production sucks, our technology sucks, fleet strength, me. Yeah. Population me. Okay. Transport. Ten million colonists accept. year. Ursoids bomb us again, but do no damage. Clackens attack silicoids, who would have thought. Retreat. Clackens bomb silicoids, zero million kill. Apparently bombs suck. Scout ship explores a new star system. Scout ship explores a new star system. Although our empires have had disagreements in the past, mutual trade is certainly some of the relief of the tension. Cool. These guys do not seem to be getting more friendly with us. That's okay. Send a scout ship there. Send a scout ship here. Some 
colonists there. Do I have any colonists going there? I don't think I do. Let's send some colonists there. Why are they not building industry? Oh, yes, because I sent colonists out from them. Okay. What ifs? Next year, Ursoids bomb Silicoids and we killed Ursoids attack Silicoids. Hmm, that could be a problem. Really? Okay, retreat. Or bombing, bombarding, bombardment. Okay, no effect. <laughs> and the Clackens that are now trading effectively. Those. Hopefully, those colonists are not lost. I think they might be though. Okay. Next turn, Ursoids bomb the Silicoids, Clackens attack Silicoids, Retreat, Clackens bomb Silicoids, and in fact I'm getting a feeling bombs don't work in this demo. Ten colonists land and form a new colony, that's cool. Trade you offered has given our two empires an opportunity to strengthen our alliance, yes, because we're cool like that. There's the spare scout ship. Cool. Next turn. Ursoids bomb silicoids, nothing happens. Ursoids bomb silicoids, nothing happens. Blackens, nothing happens. Scout ship explores a new world. Cool. Who can spare some colonists? Colthos can. And I don't think we need any more columns right now, so let's put that into the industry. Or any more scout ships right now. Okay. Moving right along. Next year. Orbital, orbital bombardments. No. Cool. 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 Two new colonies and new world explored. Who's got colonists thing sent out over here? You do. You can go there. You can go there. turn. Retreat. Okay. Avians attack silicoids. Retreat. Okay. Ooh, very nice. We found an ultra-rich planet. That's awesome. The trade you offered has given our two emperors an opportunity to strengthen our alliance. Yes, I'd hope so. 
And the Clackens is plenty easy. So you know what? We're going to stop sending them tribute. <laughs> the Avians are our friends, though. Yes, we've got to start a colony there right away. Who's got the most population spare in this area? Everything you can. Okay, moving right along. Is that ship just going to keep bouncing back and forth between those two worlds? Probably. Next year. Don't care, don't care. Oops. Retreat. We did not mean to attack you. Okay. Goal. Yes, greatly enhanced relations, I'm aware. Is there any way to view a map? I guess not. And next year. rock, I'm assuming. Pretty much. If I got population up here, you do. Okay. Sure, let's explore that planet. I think that's where the avians are, but they're not showing up on my map, so let's double check. Next year. Cool. Pot, uh, Prosperous trade between our two empires has formed a solid financial foundation from which both our empires can benefit from. From which both our empires can benefit from. Okay. Ursoids. Cool. Clacken espionage. Clacken spies steal the plans for increased ship range 4. I would like to think you guys already had that, but if not, you are welcome to it. Alright. down there.
Okay. Just keep on trucking, I guess. Next year. Okay. Cool. New colony. Okay, so we've found them again. Not the most efficient use of scouts, but we'll do it anyway. Cool. Clackens are invading me. Avians are invading me. Oh dear. I think the avians invaded me by accident though. He already has ship committed. Turns, see what's going on. Here soon, but we probably want to switch to tech retreat. Okay, continue trade. It's of extreme importance. Both our empires are to resist the threat of others. Okay, yeah. All right. Who's got some population things better than you guys do? I think I'm going to wait for these ships to end up where they're going to end up. Before I do much of anything else. have a Star Trek ship. Yes, I know. They're wonderful. <laughs> Next year. Okay, so do we not have any scouts heading down this direction? Contributions to establish, establish mutual trade between our two empires has greatly enhanced relations. Cool. Emperor Fitzcouch, the trade between our two empires, has not only increased our production, but has also formed basis for mutual respect and cooperation. Absolutely. Or if this game offers political victories or not, I sure hope it does, because, I mean, that's kind of the direction we're going in. And yet again, it's not showing our planets. Oh, well. ships up into a few locations. Oh, we're about to send ships to some of their planets by accident. 
Oh well. Yeah, I'm really not sure what to do with a lot of these ships. Okay, we may switch to tech soon. I think I'll mass scout ships at Orion, Yarrow, and Neptunus. So yeah, let's send him to Yarrow. Move. Okay, guys, everybody's moving to Tech for a while. I mean, I think this means they have, I mean, I'm not sure which of those numbers is which. Which of those numbers is the number of factories and which of those numbers is their total production? Green must be the factories. I don't know, we'll experiment with that here in a second. Yeah, we'll watch it and see which number goes up. Because it could just be we've got too many factories to help with production. I don't know. Let's see, I'll let's watch Chrysler. So, 2463. So both of them went up. Twenty six sixty seven. Somehow I don't think they're gonna like us having ships in their orbits. So let's move those to Orion uh, or not, because they've got ships in orbit of Orion. Though this is a little scummy. I wonder if I can do this. Okay. 26.67. Both the numbers went up again. I'm not sure what that means. So which of those is factories? I'm not sure. After we get this propulsion upgrade, we'll switch our tech around. Nuclear and en nuclear engines. Ships may move at warp two, two parsecs per turn, and have a defense of two in combat, decreasing the chance of being hit by twenty percent. Cool. Not the menu I wanted. Ooh, the Clackons actually like us now. It's amazing. Okay, so what do we want? 
We do terraforming, force fields, armor industry, shipbuilding, battle computers, ECM industry, um, or weapons. We probably want at least basic weapons. some of those ships. Yeah, let's do that and then we'll leapfrog over here. Seems to be a viable strategy. Yay, Hyper V rockets. Now to reallocate tech. It looks we're almost like we're almost ready to get another weapon, so yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. get the other weapon. Okay, all those planets are occupied. Our tech HyperX rockets. Cool. Overview. Looks like we can get another weapons technology. Determining that by the light bulb. So yeah, let's just keep going. Retreat. Avian Revolt. A new leader emerges from within the Avian Empire. Rumors indicate the new emperor is a, an aggressive technologist. Diplomatic relations between your empires have shifted towards neutral and trade routes have been disrupted. That's interesting. That was not a feature in Master of Orion. Okay. Well, let's just keep trading with him and hopefully get him peaceful. Next turn. Next turn. Next turn. Yep. Overview. Yeah, we've already gotten back to calm. Next turn. This light bulb did not mean we were ready on their tech. So here it is. Particle beams. Yay! Let's shift our technology to should we do computers construction or planetology or force fields? Let's do planetology or force fields. Yeah, let's do force fields. Get really basic force fields, really basic armor, and then we'll switch to plantology. Where are all my ships? Because I'd like them to be in the same places. Apparently I have ships up here. We will send them down here. Okay, next turn. 
Class 2 deflector shields. First Lord Ambassador Emperor Fritz Couch. Uh, mutual respect. He likes us. We like him. Everybody's happy. Hard beam. An energy matter beam weapon that has effectiveness of deflected shields. Cool. Fusion beam. Yay. The avians like us again. Keep going force fields. We seem to be having a run of luck with it. Clackens like us. Planetary shields, cool. That's what I wanted. Avians like us. Really should be cutting this video off, but honestly, I'm enjoying it. Dreadful biological weapons. Cool. Time has come for our two empires to forge an undying alliance. Flacken and Master. Very interesting. Overview. What does that mean? Ally. I wonder if that means that we can land ships on their planets. Probably does. And if that is the case. Let's do this. Because we have the same thing going with the Ursa. Let's move those there. Let's move those there and see if it'll let us inhabit the same space that they do. As I was saying, I really should draw this video a close, but I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. It's like rediscovering Master of Orion all over again. Scout ship explores a new planet, minerally rich. That's cool. Oh, and it's uninhabited. Uh, who's got population I can send? Let's send the full 20. Sir, Silicoids meet Ursoids. Do you want to attack your ally? No. So I hit cancel. And now they're both in orbit of the same planet. That's cool. Okay. And now I can send settlers down here. Cool. And can I fan my scouts out more? No. Next year, so quite some Ursoids. Do you want to attack your ally? No, we don't. That's interesting. to switch off shields because now our shields are level 20 and I think we must still have a couple points in weapons by accident oh well that's fine let us move on to construction no we don't want to attack no we don't want to attack what's going on down here Fuel 
little ship down there. Next year, another attack, another attack. Minerally rich, new colony, cool. Did we just accidentally steal a planet from the Ursoids? Oops. Apparently they're okay with it. Or did they steal a planet from us? Not sure what just happened. Oh well. No, I don't want to bomb the Ursoids. Yes, so we just accidentally invaded them. Ursoids win. Um, how pissed are they about that? Not really that angry. That's fine, though. We wasted some colonists, but whatever. Can I get a fuel ship down here? Yes, I can. Cool. And that was a bug. Reduce industrial waste by 80, which doesn't matter because we're silicoids. But yeah, no, we're almost an hour and 10 minutes into this video. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. I've had a lot of fun with this. Um, I'm going to save this game. And let me know if you guys want to see me finish it up. So I think, I mean... I don't know if you can get a political victory in this game. If you could, then we may be pretty close to it. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Let me know if you want to see more of the series. Again, this is the prequel to Master of Orion, and we will keep playing along with our Silicoid Armada. Uh, or just let me know if you thought it was a cool peek into the minds behind Master of Orion. I, I found it to be quite fun. I would suggest you go check it out. I'm not going to post a link to it, because although I think this game is officially freeware and released by the developers, not quite sure what all's going on since they released the newest Master of Orion game, so I'm not going to post a link to it, but I'm pretty sure it is freeware, so just do a search for um, uh, the Star Lords or Master of Orion prequel, and you should be able to find it on the interwebs. So, this has been Fritz Couch. Thank you very much for tuning in. Let me know if you want to see me play some more. Bye.